10 million people applied for unemployment in March alone. And the unemployment rate is the highest it has ever been in all of US history. So this is really bad news because all of these people who applied for unemployment are all gonna be looking for jobs at the exact same time. And on top of that, companies are not hiring people. They're barely able to stay afloat because people are not able to leave their homes. They're telling employees to stay at home. They cannot conduct business as normal. But it's not all bad news. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a couple of companies who are hiring thousands and thousands of people every single week. And I'm also going to go over a couple of ways that you can make a new stream of income, start your own business, be your own boss from home. What's up everybody, Michael here. Welcome back to another video. Before we get started, it'd mean a lot if you could like the video down below, leave a comment and subscribe. It really helps out a lot with my channel. So anyways, what we're gonna do today is gonna go over a couple of companies who are hiring thousands of people every single week. And we're also gonna go over how to be your own boss, start your own business from home. You may be thinking starting a business from home requires you to be tech savvy and you have to be good with computers and social media. Not true. So anyways, just stay tuned for that. We're gonna get into that a little later. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the companies that are hiring thousands thousands of thousands of people every single week because of the coronavirus, because their business is doing so well due to the coronavirus. And the company we're going to talk about is Amazon. Most people are ordering from Amazon. Amazon makes it so easy to get items. You could get groceries from Whole Foods. You could get anything you need delivered in a couple of days with online, which has helped out a lot due to the coronavirus. They opened up 100,000 new positions, whether that's at distribution centers, whether that's in person, remote, they've opened 100,000 different positions. And all of these are positions are either full-time, some are part-time. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is companies who are hiring thousands and thousands of people every single week because business is doing so well and they're having so much volume due to the coronavirus. And the company we're gonna talk about is Amazon. Amazon's opened up 100,000, yeah, 100,000 new positions. Some of them are full-time, some of them are part-time. Some are remote working, some are in distribution centers, but all across the US, they've opened 100,000 new positions. And I know that can't help out with all 10 million people who applied for unemployment, but it makes a significant dent in that 10 million people. So if you're interested in applying for a job at Amazon, you can go online, search the jobs they have available. Some might be in your area, some might be remote, full-time, part-time, but they're hiring 100,000 people. So you probably qualify for some of the positions, see if that interests you, and you can just go online and apply for those. So there are a number of other companies in addition to Amazon who are conducting mass hirings. CVS Health is hiring 50,000 new employees. They're full-time and part-time positions. They're looking for in-store associates. They're also looking for delivery drivers. Other companies like Kroger's and companies who deliver groceries and have groceries. They're conducting more hires. Kroger's alone is looking for 20,000 new employees. So you just have to look in industries that are seeing massive growth because of the coronavirus. Grocery stores, people are only going to grocery stores. That's the only place that people are going. So if you need a job, look to see what grocery stores are near you and if they're hiring, they probably are. CVS and healthcare companies, those companies are hiring as well. In addition, companies like Zoom Video Communications, they've seen massive growth in users and they've had a lot more people using their service. It's a video communication app for businesses and schools and all businesses and schools are using their service. So they're also looking for a number of new hires. So you just have to look at what industries are seeing immense growth. Companies that are either online service-based businesses like Amazon or Zoom, which help facilitate communication and delivering items to people, or companies like CVS and Kroger's or Publix, which are where people get their food, and that's really the only place that are still open right now where people can go. So if you're looking for a new job, look at those companies that are open and that are growing right now and seeing a lot of activity due to the coronavirus. So the second thing we're gonna go over is how to make money from home, how to start your own business, and essentially be your own boss without leaving your home. The coronavirus is the best time to start a business from home because you're not supposed to leave home. Even if you have a job and you want to start a business on the side, it's not even like on the side because you're home anyway. So in your free time, you can start a business. So anyways, you don't have to be tech savvy in order to start a business from your computer. Each person is different and there are another, a number of industries you can work in where you might need to know how to use a computer fairly well. But anyways, let's get into it. So most people, when they want to start a business or make extra income from home, they'll tell you to buy and sell stuff on eBay or Craigslist. And that's not really possible right now because people aren't looking to just buy 
clothing or old items because they're not really going to use them. They're just sitting at home, can't do anything. So that's not really an option. Another thing that people most of the time tell you to do is to maybe bake an item and you could start, you know, if you bake cakes or cookies or you like cooking, you could start delivering food and stuff that you like to cook and you could sell that. Probably won't work either because of germs and people not wanting to contaminate anything that they're buying. So both of those options aren't really good. But what you have to do is you have to look at where are people struggling the most right now. And the industry that is struggling the most is probably restaurants and, you know, mom pop shops that can't stay open and they don't have enough money to really do business. So how can you help those companies? What I'd say is if you were looking to start a business online and you're good with social media, you can start reaching out to all of these local shops and come up with a plan with them to start selling items online. If they're a restaurant, you can help them promote their takeout and delivery options because they're probably offering those. So what you could do is if you're good with social media, you could start a social media agency which helps small businesses. And you may be thinking, well, I don't wanna take advantage of any of these businesses. You're not taking advantage of them. You can offer to them for very, very cheap like extremely cheap and you can help them stay in business by promoting them on social media, promoting their, you know, take down delivery options. And you can do that very easily and charge them practically nothing just to keep them, help them stay in business. And if they make it through the coronavirus and when everything's over, they're very grateful for you and they'll want to stay with you forever. They'll stay with you. If you help them stay in business throughout this time, they'll want to stay and continue to use your service when everything is over and when you'll be able to maybe charge them a more reasonable price for your service. So if you're willing to do that sort of work for very cheap and maybe even free right now, I bet these companies, these small businesses are willing to look for anything to help them in order to stay in business. Another way you can start your own business, be an entrepreneur from home is to become a content creator. This definitely isn't for everyone, but it's pretty easy to do. If you have something you're passionate about, whether that's baking, whether that's exercising, you can start making content online. You can just put videos on YouTube, put post on Instagram and Facebook and building up your audience, you could eventually start to monetize that. One area that's especially attractive right now is fitness. If you're into fitness, you like to go to the gym and you're doing home workouts, you might as well film them and post them on YouTube. If you're filming them and posting them, you'll be able to start growing an audience. Another thing you could do is build a website where you can post home workouts and you can start building a community of people who use your home workouts and you can start some sort of online fitness service. Okay, so I know I said you didn't have to be tech savvy in order to do any of these home businesses and become your own boss, and you don't. While posting content, you may think that has to be tech savvy, it's not really difficult at all. You can learn how to do it within a couple of minutes, searching it online, you just film yourself and you upload the video, it's not too hard. But if you really don't, aren't good with technology and you, you can't do social media marketing, well, there's another option that you could do. So if you're not tech savvy, there are a number of businesses you can start. There have been so many companies that are start at home by people who aren't tech savvy on a computer. But if you need help with that, you just need to ask yourself, what are you good at? What do you like? And what do you enjoy? So if you can combine what are you good at and what do you enjoy and come up with a business idea, I'm sure you'll be able to turn that into a business online. If you need help creating that business online, coming up with a way that you can take your skills online and you don't have much experience, just go over to my Instagram, DM me, and I can help you brainstorm, come up with ideas. I can also show you sites to create a website, basic things that you would need to do online. So if you need any help at all, just go over to my Instagram, DM me, and I'll help you out coming up with a business idea and how to make money from your home with doing something you like. So anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please make sure to leave a comment down below, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,